Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today we're gonna be installing these Polaris handguards on the 2020 Polaris 570, and we're gonna be making a short tutorial on a step-by-step -step on how to install these. Uh, at first expression, impressions, they seem to be good quality, nice thick plastic, uh, nice uh, logo imprint, um, and look like they're gonna look real good on the on the bike and I'm excited to get them on. Stay tuned. First thing we want to do is we're gonna use T30 hex adapters to remove these hex screws over here. You can use these uh, hex screws. This will be a little loose and that's okay. You want to take these hex screws completely off so you can remove the, uh, the upper part of the plant. You don't want to tighten it all the way because you want to make some adjustments at the end. So you go ahead and put it there. Nice and firm. Open that and keep it tight. So the next thing you want to do is you want to mount the... That's the way. You want to mount the handguard. So the next step Grab four washers, a, a bolt, and a nut. And this is going to be kind of tricky. But what you want to do is you want to put a washer into the into the bolts, and you're going to have to go one by one. So you're going to get that. You're going to go with that first washer, then the bolt, then you put the second washer. Get it in there. Now when you get the bolt in, you want to put the second washer. You gotta hold it in place. you can grab a, a 10 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter socket wrench and you're gonna tighten. Keep in mind that this is 
plastic at the end of the day, you shine it too much, you can actually crack the plastic, so you want to get in there nice and smooth, once it starts grabbing the firm grip. And of course, again, don't tighten it all the way until you make your final adjustments. What we're going to do is we're going to leave this side loose while we install the other side so we can adjust with it all the even from the front. Side of the bike, we go ahead and remove the screws from this side. Now, this side, we're going to use a T20 torque. The reason why the other one uses the T30 is because it's holding up the master cylinder. Here are the original screws that we removed, and here are the ones that come with the mounting packet. As you can see, they're a little bit longer, maybe maybe about a quarter of an inch longer. And the reason why is because the mounting bracket is a lot wider than the original clamp that comes on the bike. We got four washers, we got a bolt, and we got a nut. We're gonna do the exact same thing. We're gonna put the washer in the bolt. We're gonna put the bolts. The first. Oh, and we're gonna put the next washer. Then we're gonna go ahead and push the bolt through the mount. And again, we're gonna try to get it through enough where we can put the other washer in. It does help if you, instead of pushing, you kind of screw it in a little bit. So it makes it a little bit easier. But once you get the next washer in, you're gonna go ahead and get the bolt through again. I'm gonna put the washer. And we're gonna put the bolts. And again, we're gonna use a 10 millimeter wrench with the uh, 10 millimeter socket to tighten it up. Again, you don't wanna tighten it all the way until you get everything adjusted to your uh, Your position, sitting position, and position. You want to get in there just enough. There we go. I actually did this off the camera. I made my adjustments on it. I set them to make it look as level as I could.
sick, guys. That's how you mount these uh, Polaris uh, handguards. Very simple, should take you 10 to 15 minutes. And uh, they look good. I'm sure they're going to they're gonna be very useful out on trails from debris branches. Also, if you're riding in the winter time, uh, that'll keep your fingers, your, your knuckles warmer from cold, cold air in them. Um, that's it, guys. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up, share, uh, leave a comment if you think I could have done things a little differently, uh, or if you have any questions, leave a comment and I, I try to reply to everyone. Thanks again, um, and I'll see you in the next video.